Okay, this is question 12 of the non-calculator paper. It's a whole page of a, a question. It's worth four marks altogether. There's a lot of writing and a couple of diagrams and then a grid down at the bottom. But I'm just focused on part A before we move on to part B. I'm going to read the question. As I say each time, read the question. It's really important. Amy has some toy bricks. Each brick is a cube of side one centimeter. So they're all cubes and they're one centimeter inside each. Amy uses some, br some of the bricks to make a solid shape. So it's a solid shape. There isn't any hollow bits, any bits missing. That's really important. Amy adds some more of the bricks to this solid shape to make a cube of side three centimeters. So she adds some more bricks to this shape up here to make a cube that has side three centimeters. How many bricks does Amy add? How many bricks does Amy add? Now a lot of people think about this in, in loads of different ways. Right, they try to imagine putting the bricks in, they try to imagine what it would look like. But there are two steps to this. First of all, how many bricks are there in this shape, the solid shape that you started off with? Well, this is a counting exercise, but you need to remember it's a solid shape. So there, there are no hollow bits, right? It's a solid shape. So if we count these, one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's a seventh one below this cube here, right? So there's seven of them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven cubes all together. Now, if she wanted to make a cube of side three centimeters, this is what a cube would eventually look like. It would be a big cube and it would have each side being three centimeters. That would be three, three, and it would also be three centimeters high. Right, so she'd have three of these cubes going across, three going backwards, and three high. And that's three times three times three. Three times three times three. Now three times three is nine. Nine times three is 27. So she'd need 27 cubes all together to make a three, a, a cube that has side three centimeters. But if she's starting with this one, which already has seven, the question says, how many bricks does Amy add to it? Well, to find out how many more bricks she needs to add on to this shape over here to make a cube of side three centimeters, 27 take away seven, that's going to give me 20 cubes. Now, there's a lot in there. But it is a pretty straightforward question. You need to think about it, right? And it's two easy marks. Make sure you do get them. Okay, this is part B. And part B is sort of moving on. It says, Navid uses some of the bricks to make this solid shape. On the grid below, draw the view of the solid shape from the direction shown by the arrow. So they want to know what shape you would see if you were looking at it from this direction, the direction shown by the arrow. What you need to think about is what, which faces are you going to see? And then you need to draw that in onto your diagram. Now the faces that we're going to see, sometimes I think it's a good idea to shade them so I will, you will definitely see that face, that face, and that one. You'd also see that face, and that one there. If you look at that and think about what you're going to see, and now the shape of what you're going to see, you need to use a ruler and a pencil to draw your diagram. Now the base or the outline of the shape, the base of it is going to be all the way across here. The height is going to be two squares. It's going to go one, two, three across, and then back up two. So 
this is what my shape is going to look like. Three across, two up, two up on this side, and then think about the top. I'm going to go one across from this side, one across from the other, one down, one down, and then connect those because there's this gap in the middle. So, complete this. Gap in the middle. And there's no need to shade or color this in. What you've done here is enough to get full marks in this question. It's really easy. Visualize it. Shade in the faces that you'll see. Think about the shape that you're going to see and then draw it accurately with a ruler and pencil in the grid that they've provided.